I know Halloween's over and all, and everyone's starting to get into the Christmas spirit, but if The Simpsons can get away with airing Halloween episodes in November, I think I can get away with reviewing a horror movie in November too, so let's begin. Hi, I'm Danny Quinn, and welcome to the latest episode of First Impressions. On today's episode, Let the Games Begin! as I review the latest entry in the Saw franchise. This movie is set several years after the previous Saw film, and it seems that the Jigsaw murders have finally come to an end. But now a number of dead bodies start piling up, and the evidence seems to point to one person, John Kramer. But there's just one problem. He's been dead for many years. And then we got this other plotline involving five strangers who are forced to play through another round of Jigsaw's games, and you gradually realise that they've all done questionable things in the past that they have to atone for. And it's basically just another Saw movie. So I'm personally quite lukewarm on the Saw franchise. I don't hate them, I don't love them. I like the first three films in the franchise quite a bit. I think they're fairly enjoyable. Yeah, they do kind of get lumped in with the torture porn genre that Hostel arguably did more to create than Saw. And yeah, there is quite a lot of gore in these films, but I actually do like the first three films because they're somewhat restrained in their amount of violence and carnage and they're a lot more psychological than subsequent entries, but the films did gradually get worse as time went on. The vans became a lot more over the top, the traps became a lot more elaborate and ridiculous, and the plots became a lot more messy and convoluted, with each new plot twist making less and less sense. But regardless, I actually don't hate any of the later Saw films. Yeah, they are very silly, the plotting is a mess, and each film did gradually grow to rely more and more on gore than actual compelling horror, but they're still weirdly amusing in a way. They're not good but for the right company that can be an enjoyable watch. Hell, I even kind of enjoyed the previous entry, Saw the Final Chapter, because it just feels like a complete self-parody of the franchise. Either that or I'm just a sick bastard inside. Who knows? But of course, like any film in the franchise that claims a certain entry is going to be the final chapter or the final outing, Saw 3D turned out to be anything but. And that leads us to the newest film, Jigsaw. I think one of the main problems in this film is the same problem I have with a lot of the later entries in the franchise. They're basically just the same film. They feel very interchangeable from one another. They all feel very similar. Characters are forced to go through a series of traps set up by Jigsaw. They're forced to dismember themselves or hurt themselves in some way, physically or mentally. They carry out his tasks and some succeed while others fail. There's usually a lot of gore and a lot of screaming. You learn that they've done something horrible in the past and all while you have cops running around trying to solve some mystery connected to Jigsaw, which eventually culminates in the ludicrous plot twist that doesn't really make sense and doesn't mesh with what came before in previous entries. Preferably if it involves a minor character from an earlier film that you don't know anything about. The Saw movies as a whole are very formulaic, and Jigsaw doesn't really do much to try and shake it up. It doesn't really do anything new and just kind of follows a lot of the same routines as previous movies. The only thing that really separates this movie from the previous ones is that it feels a lot more Hollywoodized. The photographic style is a lot cleaner, it's a lot more polished than previous entries, but quite frankly, that's not a compliment. In fact, that's probably one of my main problems with the film. It looks way too glossy. The other films had a very grungy and grimy colour scheme to them that made them almost look like heavy metal music videos, especially with the rapid editing and quick cutting. Granted, it didn't always work. A lot of the cutting in the older films often makes for unintentional hilarity watching it now, but it did give the movies a sense of character and personality that this movie just really lacks. Aside from that, this movie also suffers from a lot of the same problems that plague the later entries. A convoluted plot that's littered with contrivances and plot twists that are churned out every new scene that just completely muddled the franchise's already messy and broken mythology. The traps are ridiculous and unintentionally funny, and are more interested in shocking and grossing out the audience than actually providing genuine horror. There's interesting ideas such as a nurse who's obsessed with Jigsaw and has actually built a studio containing many of his infamous traps that the movie doesn't actually do anything with. The characters are either extremely uninteresting or extremely unlikable, or both, and that makes it very hard for us to actually care about them when they're placed in these perilous situations. The acting is melodramatic and over the top. There's just not that much to talk about with this film. Outside of its lack of style, I don't really have too much to say. I guess I could talk about the film's ending, which I think will really divide fans of the franchise. Some might be willing to accept the ending of this film and will just roll with it, but for others, I think it will be a massive jumping the shark moment, which considering all the convoluted plot twists and absurd traps in this series, that is really saying something. And that's definitely what the ending of this movie was for me. A great, big, gigantic, enormous moment where the franchise well and truly jumps the shark. 
and then jumps back over it again for good measure. Without spoiling anything, there's two major plot twists in this scene, one of which is actually blatantly lifted from a previous film, and it's stunningly predictable long before it actually happens. You can literally see it coming from the farthest reaches of the galaxy. So with all that going against it, you think I'd probably hate this movie, right? Not really. In fact, I actually find it somewhat watchable. I think it's just because everything in this movie is so ridiculous and it's played so straight much of the time that I just couldn't help but feel somewhat entertained. It definitely feels like a massive self-parody of the franchise. It's not quite as preposterous as the previous Saw film, but it's still pretty daft stuff, all things considered. And a lot of the time, it is entertainingly dumb. It's very much the modern day equivalent of the slasher movies. They're really silly and stupid, but somewhat enjoyable. And I'm honestly convinced that even the filmmakers have begun to realise just how silly and absurd these movies have become. I honestly don't know where to place Jigsaw in the franchise. It's not nearly as good as the first three films, but at the same time, it's not nearly as interchangeable or as bland as 4, 5 and 6. And it's also not quite as hilariously stupid as Saw 3D. It falls somewhere in the middle, I'd say. It's a middle-of-the-road entry in the franchise. It's very much what you've come to expect from these films, and it delivers just that. So if you're a Saw fan, I think you might enjoy this to a certain point. If you didn't like the previous movies, you're definitely not going to like this one. It's definitely not going to win you over to the franchise. So on a scale of 1 to 0, with 0 being absolute irredeemable shit, and 10 being a timeless, flawless masterpiece, I'm going to give Jigsaw a 5 out of 10. I'm not sure if I could really recommend it, per se. It's not exactly a good film, but I did find it somewhat watchable, and I didn't hate it. You're probably better off watching it if you're drunk, or waiting for it to come out on DVD, Blu-ray, or to download. So Jigsaw, have you seen it yet? If so, what did you think of it? Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you like about it? What did you not like about it? Let me know down in the comments below. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll be back soon with videos on Paddington 2 and Justice League, among several others. But in the meantime, feel free to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel. If there's anything I can do to improve my presentation, let me know. I can also be found by Facebook, Twitter, email, and Instagram. And until next time, I'm Danny Quinn, and I hope you have a pleasant evening.